Hey, Deadpool. Where's your guns? Dang it, Dupinder! No, whoa, 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 hold on, Deadpool, don't worry. D-Star's got your back. What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today we'll be looking at the SH Figure Arts Deadpool. This is the movie Deadpool, the one with Ryan Reynolds in it. I absolutely love that movie, and I'm so glad this figure came out. If you're looking to pick this up, he will soon be available at www.dstartoys.com. This was for awesome action figures like all toy reviews. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel right at the beginning. I absolutely love this figure, but it does have its caveats. So, big issue, obviously. Why did they not include Desert Eagles? Don't worry, D-Star's got you. We're gonna be 3D printing these and painting these. I'm gonna have these available soon at dstartoys.com. I'm gonna show these off in another video later. I will be posting like all the pictures and videos and whatnot with him, but I'm, I'm gonna go into detail on these guns later. And Deadpool's like, no, I need my guns. But anyway, yeah, so let's talk about the negatives. Um, yeah, this figure was super tight. In fact, I still think he's really tight. Uh, I've been playing with this figure for about two days now. Absolutely love it, but the tightness is just really there. It's so apparent you really gotta get your hot water out or your uh, silicone oil, which you can also get at dstartoys.com. And you gotta oil them up a little bit so you don't break anything. As you can see here, even though I oiled up the thigh here, you can still hear a little bit of creaking. And the bicep swivel was really tight as well. I had to really loosen that one up. But once I got it all loosened up, he's a really great figure. Uh, one other thing I have to warn everyone about when they pick this figure up, look out for this. I did not think this was detachable right when I pulled him out of the box and this thing popped out and I lost it. Oh my goodness, I had a heart attack there and I was really sad. So I, once I found it, I just got some sticky tack and put it there. And as you can see in the beginning of the video, his swords did fall out. So again, I used some sticky tack or museum putty to keep that there. And once you have that done, that's pretty good. Uh, another thing that was kind of missing, and it's very clear, that they designed this Deadpool to have guns. And as you can see right here, these slots, these sockets, whatever belong here, obviously was supposed to be Kydex holsters that were molded to Desert Eagles. As you can see, they were supposed to plug right into this hole right here, but unfortunately... I don't know why, someone tell me down in the comments down below, why did they stop making guns for like the DC Universe figures, for figures like this? It's clear that they need them, they designed it for them, I mean they even give you gun holding hands, like come on, and we don't get any gun, maybe it's a licensing issue, heck you know what, I would have even gone for guns that look sort of like not Desert Eagles, just to, to have something to go with these hands. But unfortunately, you're going to have to pay a little bit extra cost or, um, you know, if you have a friend with a 3D printer, find some Desert Eagle model and, and stick it on these guys and on, on this guy. So that is the biggest issue, despite that. OK, now that we're done with all the issues. Woo, I love this figure. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I gushed when I first saw this figure. I, I picked this one up. This is an import version. I picked it up at Xavier Customs. I saw him at uh, WonderCon and I was so hyped when he had it and I just had to pick him up. I was really excited. Oh man, this figure looks absolutely cool and I'm going to tell you tell you why when we go into paint detail. So let's talk about paint detail. Let's move this box out of the way. We'll look at that later. It has all the accessories and stuff. But wow, look at this. SH Figure Arts put all the shading in this guy. It looks like he's all dirtied up. He looks ready to go. Really awesome. Look at the fine details. You can actually tell that his suit is really nicely textured. He has a beautiful matte finish on him. Definitely love all the shading, like I said before. This is a really, really good looking movie Deadpool that I have been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. Ever since I first saw Deadpool with Janelle, we absolutely love that movie. And we're like, man, wouldn't it be cool if they made a figure arts of him or heck, even a Marvel Legends, which I do have the Marvel Legends version. But I really wanted an SH figure arts version. Now that it's here, I'm pretty hyped. It's just unfortunate he didn't come with guns, which he is displaying prominently in the movie. <laughs> anyway, yeah, absolutely love this. 
Um, also, the let's look at the face right here. Obviously, we don't get a Ryan Reynolds face. Maybe in the future we will, but uh, unfortunately, we just get a mask face, which, which, which honestly is fine with me. I prefer the mask face. We mostly see him in the movie with a mask face, and these eyes are interchangeable, which we will look at in the accessories. But yeah, when it comes to paint and detail, the red, the black, the shading, everything like that, very movie accurate. Absolutely love this figure. This is a really good figure. He poses really well. He has a lot of articulation joints. A lot of the Marvel um, SH figure arts were lacking a bicep swivel. And you know what? This guy definitely has it. And I like the way this swivel is designed because it looks to me that, yeah, so this part right here, um, this design right here, uh, the shoulder pad is connected to the bicep so it moves with it so it looks really nice really clean right there absolutely love that little detail and also he does have butterfly joints and that looks really cool right there too so you can get all your poses down and everything like that and get all the gun poses and whatnot when you put some guns on him also i have to let you know you don't have to buy my desert eagles you could just buy the little armory desert eagle i believe resident evil the resident evil 2 set comes to the desert eagle and those will work with him i haven't fully tested i'm still building that kit but i'm pretty sure it does most little armories will fit with this guy so Enough of that. Let's do a little bit of comparison here. Let's move into articulation and scale. But before we do the comparison, let's take the ruler out. Let's see how tall he is. He is six and three quarters, almost six inches right there. And if you were wondering, hey, how does he stand with one of my favorite Marvel Legends, uh, Deadpool right here, the movie Deadpool. As you can see, the Marvel Legends is definitely scaled much bigger. That's how most Marvel Legends are. And also, the Desert Eagles on this one, I think I told you guys before, if you didn't see that review, they are glued into the Kydex holsters right here. So you have to really push them out, pull them out, and then you have to repaint them so they actually look good. Uh, yeah, that was kind of an issue, but... Yeah, anyway, so that's this guy compared to this guy. I do like this one better, but I kind of like to play with this one a lot, a lot more because, well, it's a much cheaper figure. So that's really why this one's more for posing, putting on the shelf and whatnot. Let's pose him with, or let's put him next to other Deadpools. So what we have here is the Mafex Deadpool, which I've always thought this Deadpool was pretty much the, the best one, despite that he didn't come with a, a lot of stuff. So there you have it. Uh, this is more of the comic Deadpool. Here is he, here is the Mafex Deadpool right here. As you can see, he is also scaled bigger. The Mafex figures were definitely meant to scale with Marvel Legends. And if you're wondering, well, how does he work with the Figma Deadpool? This is the real deal Figma Deadpool. I've kind of just kept him in his underwear. <laughs> I don't know why. I just really like this look. Uh, I can't seem to find his other accessories. But this is also a great figure, especially the deluxe version. As you can see, he actually scales really well. Maybe the Figma one's just scaled a little bit thinner. This is more of a comic book version anyway, so that's pretty cool. And also, I like the fact that he came with a revolver. Look at that. Isn't that cool? He comes with a revolver. Um, real quick, just because I, I, I always wanted to try this now that I think about it. Let's take this revolver out, and let's see if it'll work. So if you got the Figma Deadpool, and you're like, you know what? I want to put the guns on him. You want to put this revolver on him. Then, yeah, you can. You could definitely do that, as you can see right here. This does seem to work, albeit it's a little bit loose because it's supposed to be scaled a little bit smaller, but you can push this hand just a little bit, just torque that plastic just a little, don't do it too much, and you can get the finger hand in there, or the finger into the um, trigger, and boom, there you have it. You can put the Ryan Reynolds Deadpool with a revolver. And last but not least, we always got to have some sort of Wolverine <laughs> when it comes to Deadpool. And here is a Marvel Legends brown suit Wolverine. As you can see, these two work really well together. And if you're wondering, how does the Mafex Wolverine work out? And I'd have to say, yeah, these two work together as well. Wolverine should be shorter than Deadpool, so this does seem to work. So let's go over articulation here. Now we have an up and down here at, a, at the toe. We have an ankle joint right here with a little bit of swivel right there. We have a double jointed knee right here. We have the elusive version two fighting body um, crotch joints right there so you can have solid kicks like that or if you want a door kicking uh, move right there and we have a two joints right here in the midsection rotatable not so much really tight like I said but you can get some 
decent av crunches right there. And like I said before, we do have butterfly joints, so you can get proper form in the gun. Like I said, this figure was clearly designed to hold a weapon of some sort, because why else would you have butterfly joints and hand uh, gun holding hands? I don't know. I just, it just it annoys me that they did that. Well, anyway, um, so we also have bicep swivel, like I said before, double jointed elbow right there, ball and peg here at the wrist, and two at the neck. Also, this is really tight. That neck joint was really tight. I really have to oil that up. And therefore, you have well above 20 points of articulation. Let's get him into some poses right now. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Let's take out my custom painted Desert Eagles 3D printed. Super sturdy, super awesome. You can get all kinds of those flying poses. Like, boom, like when he does that flip in there, bam, pow, right there. And he lands, whoa, and he shoots some guys, bam, bam. And then he shoots some guys here, bam, bam. And maybe he wants to smell the smoke of the gun. And he's like, ah. I'm no no I'm not gonna repeat that movie. This is this is a family friendly channel, so I'm not gonna repeat any quotes from the movie. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we super articulate, get some solid kicks, uh, front kick. Obviously, we got to do a sure you can, a la Marvel vs. Capcom three. Sure you can. So there you have it right there. That's really solid, man. Let me just tell you, I really like these Desert Eagles that I made here. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I just really wish that he came with them. And so then I said, you know, I'm gonna take them in my own hands. And get some solid deagles. Look at that desert eagle right there. And also I have um, the open slide one. So it looks like it's shooting that or he's out of bullets right there. And that's pretty cool. So speaking of accessories, let's go to the top cam. Let's see what we're looking at here. So this is the... Uh, also the box is pretty rad too. Look at this. So you get a uh, really naughty looking Deadpool right in the front. Obviously, you got to have that. And we're gonna take this. So you do get a bunch of stuff, which is really nice. You get uh, interchangeable eyes, which is really cool. Uh, and you get two swords and a slew of hands and a extra holster, or not holster, sheath for your knife. Let me see where the knife went. So this is kind of my thing with this sheath and knife is that even though I have oiled it before, it's really hard to push in there. As you can see, I don't want to force it in there and break it. So that's unfortunate that, again, this it looks like everything on this figure was really tightly specced. I, I think that's the best word I can say for it. It's just extremely tight. In fact, I can't even take it out anymore. You know what? That's pretty much it. Let's go to the front cam. Let's look at the knife right here. Yeah, that knife is pretty much stuck in there. Hold on, guys. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that again. There's the knife. It is a beautiful silver and black. That is really nice. So again, you can interchange it. I kind of already sticky tacked this guy there. I'm just going to keep it like that. Uh, I don't really want to use the knives anyway. So, or this knife anyway. If anything, I'm going to be using any blade weapon. The swords. So here are the swords, black, silver, red, as you can see right here at the hilt, looking really nice, nice metallic sheen right there, and he does have hands specifically that were meant to hold it, and if you're wondering how it works in the sheath, no, these do not go in the sheath, these do not, but instead we are, we're taking from Figma, which usually includes just the handle and hilt, and you can remove those so it looks like it's not there. So just, again, you cannot put these in, these were not designed for that these were so there you have it and you just put plug those back in. actually we're going to keep those out and if you can give me just a second we're going to put some sword wielding hands real quick everyone with the magic of video editing we're going to do it right now eric give give me some magic here okay so here we have deadpool with his swords looking really sharp bam look at that looking really cool ready to slice and dice Maybe stab Wolverine a few times in the stomach. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That looks really sharp. Really, really like that. Um, so here's another thing. Let's look here. He does come with a slew of hands. Um, I'm just going to dump this all out in, in the top cam. You could see just how many hands we're dealing with here. There's just way too many. Um, but let's do the ones that I really like. The pointing hand and the heart hands. And then you can look at all the other hands. I'm going to be putting them in the end of the video. And let's see, what other hands do I really like? Uh, I think that's really it. Everything else is just pretty standard stuff. And let's do a quick interchangeable eye. We'll do the squinty eyes. Um, and I'll show you how do you put those in. And so 
here we are on the front cam. Let's look here. So we have the wide-eyed um, Deadpool eyes. You take your tool, which it does come with. It's not my favorite tool, by the way, because you have to get into there and push them out. And in fact, I can't really do that on camera because you can't really see inside the head. But yeah, that's mostly what it was designed for is to push these out. And you can take out his eye socket thingies. Hold on one second. All right, once I pull them out and you have Nightmare Fuel uh, Deadpool right here, you can replace the eyes like so. Hold on one sec. So there you have it. Now we have the squinty I love you eyes. Right? So there you have that. And then we're going to interchange these hands. And I absolutely love these hands. These are supposed to be the heart making hands. And then what also they're good for is to holding holding rifles. Again, you don't get guns with this guy. And you could make a heart. So right there. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cute? Absolutely love that. And then last but not least, you can. T uh, my favorite is the pointing hand. And he's pointing at you going bang, bang. Hey, how's it going? All right, so let's come up with a conclusion of this figure, of the SH Figure Arts Deadpool. Ton of accessories, lots of stuff. Um, obviously, the missing accessories... I've said it so many times, I, I'm really getting tired of saying it. Desert Eagles, I'm going to show you these in another video. Um, but yeah, that's missing. Pretty much the guns were a disappointment. I played around with this guy for two days to finally loosen him up to get him to where I, where I want him to be. And, you know, it's a break-in period. It's, you get to know your toy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't just, like, take him out of the box, play with, like, play with him for, like, five minutes and then put him on the shelf. Get to know your action figure. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, once I got him really loose or loose to where I like him, yeah, I have to say this is my. I'm gonna say it. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. This is my favorite Deadpool figure. I really like it. Uh, what I really need to do now is design the Kydex holsters for him, and I'm gonna make those available uh, when I can. So follow my Instagram at dstar01 Toy Reviews. So you can see the progress of the Desert Eagles and the holsters. I'm going to be selling them separate or maybe as a set when they're all done. But for now, I'm going to be selling the Desert Eagles. They're going to come in uh, sets of four. So what you get is two Desert Eagles with open slides like this, which is really cool. They're going to be painted also. And then you're going to get two Desert Eagles, which are closed slide like this. So you get four guns, and they're going to be $24.99, custom painted by yours truly. I might show uh, how I paint them on stream, hopefully tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, I guess we will see. But yeah, like I said, I absolutely love this figure. He's so cool. Just look at that. Just look at him. He's so photogenic. I love the shading, love everything about it. And if you're looking to pick this guy up when he comes out, I don't know when. <laughs> Who knows when anything gets released nowadays that comes from overseas. He's going to be released at www.dstartoys.com. He's like your reliable source for awesome action figures. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.
Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.